Most AFL trades tend to be pretty fair, but there are times where they turn out to be the worst decision an AFL club has ever made. These are the 10 worst trades in AFL history. Starting off with the Adelaide Crows. At the end of the 2002 season, the Crows traded their 2nd and 18th picks in that year's draft for a 31-year-old Wayne Carey. Even though Carey would play amazingly for the interstate team, scoring 56 goals across two seasons, he didn't stay with them for long. He was forced into retirement after a career-ending neck injury in 2004. With their new draft picks, the Kangaroos picked up Daniel Wells and Chris Shaw. And while Shaw failed to debut for them before being delisted three years later, Wells certainly made a name for himself. The athletic midfielder played 243 games for the Roos, kicking 150 goals in his time at the club. One of these even won him goal of the year in 2004, when he scored with an impressive Jackie Chan style mid-air kick in the clutch. But as far as bad trades, we are just getting started. Now, contrary to Wayne Carey, midfielder Michael Martin didn't do nearly as well at the Lions as Brisbane fans would have hoped. Only a year after Martin played in the Western Bulldogs losing 1998 prelim against Adelaide, the club traded him away. In return, the Dogs received key forward Trent Bartlett and pick 32 in the 1999 draft. Martin would play 10 games for the Lions and average 14 disposals, without even kicking a single goal. A serious injury in a round 12 match against the Tigers saw the end of his career. Trent Bartlett played far better after joining the Dogs. In his time at the Lions, he averaged 3 goals a season. In his first year with the Dogs, he kicked 20. With that 32nd pick, the Victorian club picked up Daniel Gian Syracuse, who went on to play 265 games and kick 331 goals for them, finishing his career as the ninth longest serving player in Bulldogs history. When Gold Coast traded Brandon Matera and pick two to Fremantle in exchange for Lockie Weller and the Dockers 41st pick, the Suns saw it as a fair trade. Weller was coming off an amazing 2017 season where he averaged 20 disposals a game in the Dockers midfield. Well, Weller has never been able to replicate his brilliance at the Suns. Last season, he only appeared in 9 games. And while the Suns' 41st pick got them a solid defender in Charlie Ballard, they completely lost the trade, because Fremantle used that number 2 pick to select Andrew Brayshaw in the 2017 draft. The 24-year-old has averaged 23 disposals a match across his six seasons with the Dockers, making him one of the greatest midfielders in the competition over the last few years. He even finished fourth in the 2022 Brownlow medal, and Brandon Matera proved to be a solid addition up forward, kicking 30 goals in 2019, but the small forward was sadly delisted at the end of 2020. While Geelong's trade with Sydney allowed them to pick up Jason Mooney, who'd play 32 games and score 50 goals for the Cats, they lost pick 8 in the draft. The pick that Sydney would use to recruit Jude Bolton over to New South Wales. Bolton featured in 325 games for the Swans across 15 seasons, putting him in second place for the most games in the red and white. Only behind two-time Brownlow medalist Adam Goods. Bolton even helped the Swans break their 72-year premiership drought in the 2005 Grand Final against West Coast. Not even his only Grand Final appearance, as 2012 saw him win his second premiership. But did Sydney really win the trade? Because the year after Geelong brought in Jason Mooney, his younger brother Cam left North Melbourne to join the Cats. And the rest is history. 221 games, 297 goals, and two premierships that will never ever be forgotten. Port Adelaide made the same mistake as the Dockers, by trading away a high draft pick. Hawks winger Nathan Loney was in pretty decent form, and so the power thought, why not pick him up? They decided to give up pick 14 in the 2005 draft, but in addition to Loney, they also received Hawthorne's pick 53. Loney did play in career best form at the power, with 20 disposals a game and the occasional goal or two. Port didn't use that 53rd pick, instead sending it away to the Demons, along with future 200 gamer Byron Pickett in another deal. Who did the Hawks get a pick 14? Grant Birchall, 
one of the greatest defenders to don the brown and gold. Birchall won four premierships in his 13-year, 248-game stint with the Hawks, before moving to the Lions to play out his last two seasons. Nathan Loney, on the other hand, played 40 games with the Power, before retiring at the conclusion of the 2008 season. In 2009, St Kilda gave up their 16th pick in that year's draft to Port Adelaide in a three-way trade with Essendon and Port that allowed them to pick up Bombers midfielder Andrew Lovett. But Lovett wouldn't play a single game for the Saints because he was quickly pressed with criminal charges and delisted before the 2010 season could begin. Port were the real winners in this trade, using their first round pick to draft Jasper Pittard. Even though the Port defender fell off towards the end of his stint with the power, he undoubtedly left a huge mark on the club, featuring in 126 games and picking up 18 disposals a game. He helped Port to their 2014 prelim final against Hawthorne, but his 19 disposal performance wasn't enough to put the power through to a grand final. Now, Trading your second round draft pick for two semi-established AFL players might seem like a good choice at first glance, but it wasn't for the Swans in their trade with Brisbane. The first player Sydney received was Simon Hawking. He didn't even don the red and white, after numerous injuries swiftly ended his career. Who did the Lions pick up with that 31st pick? A future 322 gamer who went on to kick 171 goals and lead Brisbane to a three-peat while picking up a Brownlow medal, Norm Smith and three All-Australian selections. And that player was Simon Black. Sharrod Wellingham proved himself as an amazing midfielder for Collingwood, debuting with them in 2007 and leaving the club in 2012. He was an influential player in the Pies' 2010 Grand Final replay win over St Kilda, in which Wellingham had 20 disposals and kicked two goals. But after losing the 2011 Grand Final and failing to make it to the big stage in 2012, the Pies were ready for a rebuild. Wellingham was off to the West Coast Eagles, and in return, the Magpies got pick 17 in the 2012 draft. Wellingham was a really consistent midfielder and defender in his time at the Eagles, averaging 20 disposals a game, but he was no match for Brody Grundy. That's right, the Pies selected Brody Grundy with that 17th pick, and he transformed into an elite ruckman in his 10-year playing time with them. 2013 AFL Rising Star nominee, two-time Collingwood Best and Ferris, and the South Australian even made two appearances in the All-Australian team. Brad Otten's seven seasons with Richmond saw him average 12 disposals and four marks a game as a ruck and full forward. Having originally selected him at pick number two in the 1997 draft, the Tigers were desperate for youth in their team. They gave away Otten's to the Cats in return for two first round picks in the 2004 draft, pick 12 and pick 16. That 12th pick turned out to be midfielder Danny Meyer, who'd only play 17 matches for the Tigers before a trade to Port Adelaide. He wasn't great, only picking up 7 disposals a game. The Tigers 16th pick landed them Rockman Adam Patterson. He played alright for Richmond, averaging 6 hitouts and 11 disposals a game across 5 seasons. But none of these guys compared to Brad Ottens. He went on to win 3 premierships with the Cats. Even though he played similarly at Geelong as he had at Richmond, with those top tier draft picks underperforming, there's no doubt that the Cats and Ottens got the last laugh. Now, you've made it all the way to the worst trade in AFL history. Well done. And there's no AFL trade worse than Fremantle's 2001 trade with Hawthorne. Who did Fremantle receive? The Dockers got two players. Two elite key defenders in Trent Crowe and Luke McFarlane. In return for these two, the Hawks received pick 1, pick 20, and pick 36 in the 2001 AFL Draft. Seems like a pretty fair trade at first, but that's until you see who Hawthorne picked up with those draft picks. With their first pick, the Brown and Gold nabbed Luke Hodge, who went on to play the most games of any number 1 draft pick, win 4 premierships, and earn himself a Norm Smith medal in Hawthorne's 2008 Grand Final win over the Cats. And pick 36 was Sam Mitchell, an extremely lucky stab in the dark by the Hawks. 
he went on to play 326 games, win five club best and fairest, four premierships, and have a phenomenal 2012 season that saw him win that year's Brownlow medal, even if he had to share it with Trent Cotchen. If the Dockers never made this horrible trade, maybe they could have won a three-peat instead. Which trade do you think is the worst trade in AFL history? Let me know with a comment down below, and subscribe if you liked this video.